and uh, welcome today. I'm Sean Cleary, co-author of Booth Cleary Rakita, uh, Canadian uh, Finance. And today with us we have uh, Paris Aiden. Paris is uh, partner and co-founder of Validus Capital Partners. And uh, today our topic is going to be uh, mergers and acquisitions. And uh, I thought we'd uh, just start by welcoming you, Paris. Thank you. Good to be here. And uh, I thought maybe you'd just start out if you could just tell us a little bit about uh, you know, your current role and, and your background and how you got to your current role. I started with a, a BCom. Uh, actually, I have two undergraduate degrees, one in economics and one in uh, finance. Uh, studied at uh, Uni University of Saskatchewan and then at University of Calgary. And uh, when I was coming out of undergrad, I remember it was in my third year, uh, and uh, some people started talking about Solomon Brothers, how Solomon Brothers was coming onto campus and hiring the top graduate every year, and they'd send these kids down to Wall Street, and they'd work them like slaves, and it was a real, real tough job. And I felt the hair stand up on my arms, and I thought, that's something I've got to do. So okay. I started to hunker down, got involved in the case competition teams, and really took a keen interest in sent out a lot of resumes uh, and ended up with a couple of uh, Wall Street offers, ended up taking a job with Morgan Stanley. Okay. Uh, initially in uh, Toronto, it was supposed to be a year in Toronto, then a year in New York, and it ended up being uh, 20 years in Toronto. So uh, I <laughs> never ended up uh, relocating to, uh, to New York for family reasons more than anything else. Um, but spent uh, my analyst uh, years at Morgan Stanley, uh, then uh, Got a uh, position with Clarivest Group, which was at the time was uh, we called themselves a merchant bank. These days we call them private equity funds, yeah. and was one of the first uh, investment team members, one of the first five investment team members there, um, and uh, sat on portfolio company boards and had a lot of great responsibilities there. Learned a ton from them. Learned a lot about the value creation process, which which really was uh, uh, very um, instructive for me. Gave me great perspective in advising clients for the for the latter part of my career. So I was there till about 90, 97 to 99. And uh, then my uh, colleagues who'd hired me at uh, Morgan Stanley uh, had all moved over to the Credit Suisse First Boston platform and invited me to rejoin the team, which mm -hmm. uh, I was happy to do. And so I uh, was, uh, was there in the late 90s. Um, subsequent to that, I co-founded an M&A advisory boutique called the Lewins Capital Advisors, which focuses on uh, cross-border M&A and um, uh, advising institutional, institutionally owned acquirers on cross-border deals. So uh, that was a lot of fun. Was there for four years. The firm's still running, um, but I, I wanted to get back into a situation where I was working on larger cap deals and uh, and and learning from others who were more experienced than me. And I had an opportunity to join RBC's M&A group and work there for six years, uh, from uh, from 06 to 12 and there got some excellent uh, deal experience, worked on some of the, the largest uh, M&A deals in Canadian history, and uh, so it was, it was a great place to learn uh, and a great place to get a perspective on uh, public market M&A. And uh, where I'm at, uh, subse or subsequent to that, uh, I co-founded uh, Valitas Capital Partners, which is where we are now. We're basically a startup. We've been in business for a little over a year now and uh, having a lot of fun doing that. Okay. So uh, what... Could you just a brief overview of Valitas and how it's structured sure. and, and what uh, how you spend your day there? Sure. Well, Valitas, the, the basis of the name is the combination of value and truth based on the, the word Veritas. And uh, what we really want to focus on as a firm is uh, not only um, high-end investment banking for mid-market companies and bringing that global firm sophistication. Uh, and doing it from an agile platform with an entrepreneurial team. But we also wanted to bring that value creation perspective that we learned as private equity principles. And so Valitas really combines these pretty potent skills, I think, and really focused on working with business owners to help them surface the value in their businesses prior to sale. And then, of course, helping them with executing the sale to that buyer that can pay the highest price. Okay, so basically... Uh, you mentioned when you started out with Morgan Stanley, you were an analyst. Was that in the M&A sector right, right off the bat? Or? Well, I trained in the M&A group in New York right. uh, when I first was onboarded to the firm. Uh, and what the, the reason they did that uh, is all, the, all the, the analysts who worked in branches trained in the M&A group rather than in the corporate finance groups because the M&A training was more rigorous and they wanted to make sure that the people who worked in the branches were able to step in and execute files and carry more load. So uh, we had excellent M&A training and, and what I'll say is that 
uh, on a U.S. platform in the Canadian market. We had uh, Morgan Stanley had coverage on six names in all of Canada, yeah. uh, and they were covered out of New York. And usually, what happens is if you want to compete in the financing business, you got to have research coverage. Morgan Stanley was basically nowhere. Um, they didn't have a trading operation. They had very, very light research coverage. So the only way that we could really compete on that platform was to bring better M&A ideas okay. than, uh, than the, our competitors did. Yeah. And so it was very idea-driven coverage and lots and lots of M&A focus. The only other sort of captive market we have is the high-yield market. So yeah. we had access to the U.S. high-yield market and the Canadian market hadn't developed yet. Right. So as a U.S. platform, it was a great product for us as well. Okay. So basically most of your career you've been uh, right in the middle of M&A. That's at right. Least, uh, yeah, very, know, very M&A heavy. And even, yeah. as a, even a, on, at the private equity fund uh, or in the merchant bank, very, very M&A heavy, but just a, lot, a much heavier dose of strategy.